So uh, you, this is good in that you started with um, your balanced equation. This is great. Um, and so the first thing to do is to calculate or determine the limiting reactant. So what you did was you began with determining the mass of bromine, which is this right here. From the mass of bromine, you calculated uh, how much iodine is required to consume uh, that much bromine. So this is the mass of, mass of I2 needed right, to consume 76.4 grams of the bromine. Um, since since you we the problem gives us 64 grams, um, 121 grams are needed. Uh, therefore, you're correct in that um, iodine, okay, iodine is the limiting reactant, okay. Therefore. We can say that um, that I two then determines the mass of product. Now, what's the product? Well, the the product is here, right? This is the product, the product, right? Uh, the mass of IBr. So now, what that means is that well, you you started off correct here, all right. Um, in that um, in that uh, we're going to use this right to figure out the mass of product produced. So uh, yeah, this was not correct here. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out the mass of product produced. Okay, so to do that, we're going to do you started off correct. Okay. So here, the molar mass of iodine. Um, however, at this point here, this should be uh, the moles of IBR, and it's gonna be two moles of IBR for every one mole of iodine. Uh, and then uh, this will be the molar mass of IBR. So 208.6 grams of IBR. 31 mole of IBR and so if you do the calculation this should be about 104 grams of uh, the IBR okay 104 grams of IBR okay yep Okay, and um, and so as far as this is calculation is concerned, this right here, okay, this is the theoretical yield. So now to calculate the actual yield, right? Um, remember that. So here you put seventy six point four grams of the bromine, but yield refers to the product. So theoretical yield in particular is the um, amount uh, the the uh, the amount of product produced from a stoichiometric calculation. So this is 104 grams of IBR, and uh, and so this is um, you see um, I, I don't know how you got. IBR here because this mass that you have here is the mass of bromine. Okay, so be careful with that. So you're going to have 104 times 0.85. So this gives uh, 88, 88.4 grams of IBR. And so that's the actual yield. Okay, so now um, notice, notice what we've done so far we or rather you did um, you determined the theoretical yield the theoretical yield forgive me you determined the limiting reactant and its iodine you determine the actual yield now um, the amount of um, of um, 
product produced, right? The actual yield taking into account the percent yield, the fact that the reaction is at least five percent yield. The next thing to figure out is, well, we know that um, that iodine is the limiting reactant. So therefore, this must be the excess reactant, right? There's um, some of that left over. The question is how much of the excess reactant is left over? And that's the next calculation. Okay, we'll keep this in mind right here. Okay, so let's go on this side. So we know that uh, we have this, right? We know that we have this, um, this equation, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate uh, how much of the product is, uh, how much of the excess reactant remains. So we have I2 plus Br2. Okay, so this is the balanced equation, all right? And um, if you recall from the uh, previous example, right, um, we have uh, 88, right, 88.4 grams of the product produced, okay? So now the question is how much, how much of the excess reactant, right, uh, was consumed in producing this much product? Well, let's go backwards now. So now we're going to say... There's one mole of IBR um, over that, and uh, the molar mass of IBR, right, is 206.8 grams of IBR. Uh, and then we know that um, there, there's one mole of bromine for every two moles of IBR, uh, and then we look at the molar mass of bromine, and the molar mass the molar mass of bromine is one fifty nine point eight grams of Br two. So if we do the calculation, we have thirty four point two grams of bromine that's consumed. Right, this is the amount consumed. Okay, so now to calculate bromine left over, or the one at the amount that remains, so bromine that remains is equal to, well, the initial amount, right, the initial amount minus the amount consumed. Okay, and so based on the calculation before, we started off with this many grams of bromine. This much was consumed. And so therefore, uh, mass of bromine uh, that remains is going to be 42.2 grams of bromine. If we if we want to calculate the amount left over in, in, in volume, right, the, the, the volume, um, we can do the same thing. So, um, so volume of bromine remains, remaining, I'll, I'll put here. Well, we began with 24, 0.5 ml of bromine. We consumed, so to determine how much was consumed, right, um, I can I can use a density to tell to, to calculate the volume of this. And um, and from there I can calculate the volume consumed, right? And so the volume consumed is 13.5 milliliters of bromine. And so therefore the amount um, left over. Okay, so then if we subtract 24.5 minus 13.5, then we should have 11.0 mLs of bromine left over. Okay, 
So now what we've done is uh, uh, using, right, using the amount of bromine that was uh, produced, the actual amount, we calculate how much bromine uh, was consumed. From the amount consumed, we subtract the amount consumed from the initial amount to calculate how much bromine is left over. If we'd like, we can also use the density, right, to calculate uh, the volume of the bromine left over. We subtract that volume from the initial volume to calculate the volume that's left over. Okay, so we calculated the amount of bromine left over. Um, like I said, in the directions, you can either uh, express that in mass or volume. Uh, and then the next thing we did, right, was you determined that uh, from this calculation here, that iodine is a limiting reactant. From, um, by knowing that, you then you use the amount of iodine that is uh, provided in the problem to determine the theoretical yield of the product. Once you knew that and the percent yield, you can calculate or you calculated the actual amount of the product produced. And, and that's the end of the problem. So if you re redo this, please, um, before you post, um, that would be fantastic.